Jonathan, what are we doing today? So, we are on day one of shooting Fagatron for the Galaxia. Uh, this is a little bit of a different project than we've done before. Um, definitely different in terms of the subject matter, but uh, this is kind of a satire. Should be a lot of fun. Should be a small crew day. We only have Javier and Hassan. Uh, but it should be a lot of fun. It's going to be a bully scene. So, um, you know, Javier's dad, you know, came as well. So it's going to be kind of fun to just see how uh, he kind of reacts to his son getting shoved down and stuff on the street. Hopefully it's not going to be too violent, but nine shots should be easy and it should give us a really good idea of the onset environment that we're going to be you know, experiencing over the next week. Oh, this is going to take an hour to unwrap these headphones. It's not going to take an hour. <laughs> That's the one thing I like about your pods. When you're editing the BTS footage, you can leave the whole, the whole untangling. untangling. Yeah, or speed it up for comedic effects if you want. I mean, it's for comedic effect later down the line. You'll thank me when you have all this footage to work with. So in between each scene, you're going to show him untangling this. <laughs> <laughs> That's the oh, idea. There we How go. long have you been acting for? Uh, fourth grade. Fourth grade was five years ago. Five years. Five years. Okay. I've been doing this stuff since I was like, since I was in eighth grade, so I can pretty much that. Okay. okay. Good to go. Here are your headphones. Okay. That's a wrap on day one of a uh, five. Uh, we got everything we needed to, which was really surprising. We were going to shoot the toy stuff today, except uh, we didn't have a toy store. We didn't have a location specified for it. Thankfully, we, we did get a, a toy store that one of Edwin's neighbors, friends, somewhat of that relation, was able to secure for us, and we're going to be able to shoot that next Sunday. But aside from that, we got everything we needed to do. Hassan and Javier were fantastic to work with. A lot of intensity. Uh, we, it was kind of like, as you can see with the sky, it's a little dark right now. We were doing kind of like a race against the sun in order to make it happen. But we did, we got what we needed to. And I'm just so excited to see what this next couple of days are going to bring with, you know, bring us, especially when we finally get to work with Fagatron himself, Adam and Ernesto. Welcome to Miami for you. That's all for tonight. Well, he showed up. Fagatron himself, Edwin Ernesto. It's going to be a good day. Um, we are finishing up some of our shot listing stuff here. Uh, should be simple. We're only covering about eight pages today. Uh, we're going to be in our studio scene for the first time. We're going to be in a dressing room. We're going to have a lot of sass between all the characters. I'm very excited. And today's just kind of a feeling out process and making sure that we know how to set up our sets as well as seeing how long it's going to take to break everything down. But overall, really excited and can't wait to get started. Update, how are we doing? Uh, honestly, I'm feeling a little bit better now that I know where everything is. As soon as I know where everything is. Standing on our own two feet. Now, um, now I'm fine. Yeah. It was just a matter of, I was looking to first exactly how we were going to differentiate, for example, the dressing room from the hallway. Um, and basically had to get that star angle in there, but um, that's mapped out pretty well. So it's really just gonna be a matter of just operating the lights. And uh, everyone being on time, everyone knowing the lines which, you know, hopefully we have some really good luck with. Uh, we struggled a little bit with that, I would say, on, on Tuesday, but uh, everyone was given pretty good notice and should be much more straightforward today.
<laughs> it's not good. It looks amazing. We can. It's not the first time we used it, won't be the last. Can you put any memes on there? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> My life. How are you feeling so far? Feeling pretty good. Uh, there was a little bit of a stall in the beginning, but I figured out what's going to happen day one. We're still, you know, setting up for shots and trying to get everything we need to get. It can be a little bit hard sometimes. But so far, we are we're done with pretty much. We got that much left. So we're working on it, making dents in it. So it should be good. My camera guy back home, I'd always mess up my lines when we were filming. I'm always, I always yell like, fuck, really loud. Like after you do it like 10 times, you're like, you just get so frustrated when you mess up like I'm the sixth, seventh, eighth time. So he did like a, a reel of just like over the years of me just yelling the F word really loud, like midline. And he saved the city from a multitude of super powered bags. And my God, does he look good doing it. Tonight we bring to you the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, Bagatron. In just one moment, he... Okay, nice. Got the practice, yeah. Uh, that turned out really well. We're done with scene two. We were really gonna shoot scene two, three, and four before it's literally like half a page. It's literally just three shots, so we're halfway done. We're right on time, we still have three hours basically to get the same like three coverages, except now we're gonna have the lights light up, camera, you know, the lights are gonna be low, it should be really cool. I'm excited to see how it all pops out in color grading, so I'll probably mess around with it a bit tonight. Hey everyone, this is Fagatron. We're at live on set of our big movie, Fagatron, King of Galaxia, again, the life of a superhero. Uh, this is our first movie, we're so excited. Uh, this is Enrique Caliente. Enrique Caliente. And me, Fagatron. Uh, Boys of Bad Orange Entertainment have really brought their game up and this is going to be an amazing production and we can't wait to share with you everything that we've done so far. So, stay tuned. Check out the movie. <laughs> Not for me, rap. You know what, dude, I'm impressed. Like, that went a lot better than I thought it was going to. Um, everyone knew the lines, everything was on lock. The set was beautiful. Um, we had a good rhythm going once we got it. Just so happy that Everything came out as smoothly as it could have. I'm just really excited to see where things go next. What's going on today? Well, uh, we're about to go ahead and shoot our opening scene in the film where he's essentially going through and um, basically stealing a doll. But he doesn't want to be you know, called out as, as gay, so he does it very quickly. Uh, but it should be cool. It looks like a cool toy store, pretty quick shoot. And after here, we're heading back to old HCAB Studios to wrap the day with some simple stuff in Christian Tome and then also do scene six. Sick. Nice. Everything we have scheduled, and then we're three hours early, which is awesome. Are, um, we, are we effective or are we just are we too gorilla? <laughs> uh, I think we're actually really effective. I mean, we've done really well with our shot list, kind of adapting to things that we forgot about and getting everything done. 
um, the way we need to. Just like a really good relationship between us having an idea what's going on in the script and then us kind of having uh, some plans already for how we want to you know, put out the shot list for each scene. It's just been really smooth. It also helps when your actors actually know their lines. Which is the first time, I think this is probably the best that I've ever had on set with people actually, you know, uh, memorizing their lines and just being ready, like, on the day, mm -hmm. instead of me having to be there and then, like, coaching them through everything. Like, as a director, my job is to make sure that, you know, the, the vision that was on paper is met and to kind of remind of, you know, certain expressions or cues, but in terms of lines, it's not my job to make sure people know their lines, so that's a little bit refreshing, but right now, we are just waiting for hair and makeup to set up for our last plan shot for the day. And by the time that's all said and done, probably still gonna have maybe an hour, hour and a half left, and then uh, might even get started on finishing up scene seven, so we only really have scene eight and nine, and then we're done a day early. Sick. So hopefully that everything goes as planned. So we went in, we adapted to a bunch of things that were going on when we first came here. There was an issue where we didn't know where we were going to shoot this particular uh, opening of a scene that involved being outdoors and being a completely different location. But we managed to figure it out. We shot this place that was right next to the studio, got that done, crunched through a lot of heavy dialogue, um, adapted on the fly to a lot of things. We were really smooth today, just in terms of setting everything up, especially uh, Christian's room, which is right over there. Um, we set that up very quickly. Um, but um, aside from that, it's awesome. We've been crunching through at a page of, or at a rate of about six pages a day, which uh, we're moving. It's It feels smooth. We have our time to set everything up. Yeah, I'm confident that I can say I have the, the time to sit there and it's like, okay, stop. You know, it looks great, but we're going to run it by one more time just to make sure we're safe with everything. Um, but crew's fantastic. We're done shooting with uh, our actors who are playing Christian and Danny Chisoni. Um, respectively in the script, which is awesome. And tomorrow should be our last day of shooting. And if, all, yeah, and if that goes the way it's supposed to, then we would have finished an entire day early. Um, unfortunately, the studio is not gonna refund us for that fifth day that we already reserved, but had they done that, that would have saved us, I think it's what, 30 times eight. So about $210, I think, 30 times eight. It's Something expensive. Like that. Yeah, it's expensive, but it would have saved us a couple hundred, which is nice. But that's what we want to do, we want to be efficient, we want to put out good stuff, and I think we're finally hitting the rhythm of that. We are two shots away from wrapping this entire production and a day and three hours out of schedule. This was our shot list for the day. We did this in two hours. So, at this okay. point, we're just waiting. That's what you get when you work with professional actors over here. You know, oh, yeah. You really come oh, yeah. clear and know those lines and, you know, really. No, no, seriously, you guys did a really good job. Like, that definitely makes a difference. Ethan and I have worked with people who cannot, cannot do shit. <laughs> I you know, memorize. it's kind of one of those things where it's like, how prepared are you? Just go fucking memorize your lines. I have zero acting experience, but it's like I can memorize some lines. And yeah. Anybody can do that <laughs> exactly. for the most part. But um, is this right? Yeah. No, I think that's going to look good. This is good? Yeah, the is perfect. Okay. I'll tell them to keep doing this one. Awesome. All right. Yeah, great. man. Um, I'm just excited that we're, we're almost done with this project. We're going to have to do some post shots and stuff like that just in terms of... A um, bunch of like editing. Um, it's probably gonna be a pretty heavy editing job. Uh, that being said, I think right now the tentative release window is sometime spring to summer. So I got a lot of time just to really iron this out and just make this a really fun project, which I hope you guys can all enjoy. Oh, well.
Well, thanks for the beer. No, no problem. You. Hey, cheers. Cheers. I can't, I can't drink it because my mask is on. But you get the idea, viewer. <laughs> Immediately, I'm trying to get beer roll. You're spilling beer all over yourself, you child. <laughs> Come on, man. It's a nice sweater. It's a nice hoodie. This is a nice hoodie. Outside of HCAP Studios, we have wrapped Fagatron, King of Galaxia, working title, I think. Um, and honestly, that was really smooth. Um, weren't, there weren't really a whole lot of bumps in the road. We knew what we were doing. We came in. We were really organized with our shot list. We wrapped early every day. Um, we got everything we needed to. We got great shots of everything we needed to. I'm happy with how everything came out in terms of lighting, composition, um, our performances. Everything just came together. I thought it was. Uh, way more simple than something of this plant much playing that we put into it uh, should have been but it was and uh, happy to see how it ends up I hopefully this is received really well because this is definitely uh, really out there and it's gonna be controversial to some people um, not so much uh, as I thought when I first got onto it but I think it's gonna be really fun and I can't wait to see where it goes next <laughs>